What is the difference between array and array list in Java? Arrays are static in nature, meaning their size is fixed upon creation and cannot be changed. Array list is dynamic in nature. It means array list allows to resize itself automatically when the elements are added or removed. Next, arrays can hold both primitive data types and objects as well, whereas array list can only contain the object elements. It cannot hold the primitive types directly but we can use the wrapper classes to store the primitive types in an array list next arrays do not support generics on the other hand array list supports generic next arrays can be single or multiple dimensional whereas array list is single dimensional however you can have a array list of array list to simulate multiple dimensions next arrays generally offer better performance because they are a simple data structure with direct access to their elements whereas array list may be slower especially when the size is increased as it may involve copying elements to new array behind the scene when it runs out of the space. What is the difference between HashMap and concurrent HashMap in Java? HashMap is not synchronized internally and hence it is not a thread shape whereas concurrent HashMap is internally synchronized and hence it is a thread shape. Next, HashMap is the part of the Java Collections framework since JDK 1.2 whereas concurrent HashMap is introduced in JDK 1.2 as an alternative to hash table. Next, HashMap allows maximum one null key and any number of null values. On the other hand, concurrent HashMap does not allow even single null key or null values. The iterators in HashMap are fail fast which means if we try to change the hashmap file iteration then this will throw the concurrent modification exception whereas the iterators in concurrent hashmap are fail safe it means if we try to change the concurrent hashmap file iteration it don't throw the concurrent modification exception next hashmap is faster in single threaded scenarios whereas concurrent hashmap can be slower due to its internal synchronization next hashmap is most suitable for single threaded applications whereas concurrent hashmap is most suitable for multi threaded applications what is the difference between collections and streams in java collections are mainly used to store and group the data for example we can use the collections like list set map to store and group the data right on the other hand streams are mainly used to perform operations on data for example filtering matching mapping next you can add or remove elements from the collections but you can't add or remove elements from the streams stream consumes a source performs operation on it and return the result next collections have to be iterated externally using for loop or iterator whereas streams are internally iterated well streams perform the iteration internally behind the scene for us using for each method next collections can be traversed multiple times whereas streams are traversable only once next collections are eagerly constructed that is all the elements are computed at the beginning itself but streams are lazily constructed that is internal operations are not evaluated until the terminal operations is invoked so these are the key differences between collections and streams in java what is the difference between hash set and hash map in java hash set implements set interface whereas HashMap implements map interface. Next, HashSet stores its elements as individual objects, whereas HashMap stores data as a key value pairs where each key maps to a value. Next, HashSet uses HashMap internally to store its elements, whereas HashMap internally uses array of entry objects. Next, HashSet does not allow duplicate elements. If you try to add a duplicate, it will not add it to the set, whereas HashMap does not allow duplicate keys as each key must be unique but it allows for a duplicate values. Next has set allows only one null element since it cannot contain duplicates and a null is considered a value like any other in a set. Whereas hashmap allows one null key and multiple null values. So these are the key differences between hash set and hash map in Java. What is the difference between hash map and hash table in Java? Well, hash map is not a thread shape, which means it cannot be safely used by multiple threads without additional synchronization. On the other hand, hash table is a thread shape because it synchronizes each method, making it safe to use by multiple threads without additional synchronization. Next, hash map allows one null key and any number of null values on the other hand hash table does not allow null keys or null values at all next hash map generally faster because it does not have the whole head of synchronization it's more efficient when you don't need a thread safety on the other hand hash table can be slightly lower because it has to ensure thread safety which adds some extra processing next hash map has a fail fast iterators which means if the hash map is changed while iterating over it it will throw a concurrent modification exception. On the other hand, hash table uses enumerations that are fail safe, which means they won't throw exception if the hash table is modified during the iteration. 